It's a bit cold today. This area here, we've had UniCredit just behind us over there. We've got Banca Italia and we've got JP Morgan, which is one of the biggest financial institutions in the world. Let's see if we can find some people coming out of the bank or either crossing the bank. Let's try and find some people. Hi. What's your name? Matteo. Matteo, nice to meet you. I'm Robbie. So we're here to talk about blockchain today. Do you know a little, a little something about it? Very, very little. Very little. Okay. You said you work, work in a law firm nearby. Yes, I work in a law firm, yes. Okay, cool. So in the law firms and how the way that we do technology in the future, I think that it's going to move into more of a blockchain style? Not yes, yes. There are some colleagues that are doing this. So your colleagues, just a question, what have they told you about, uh, what, what are they using blockchain for? No, we are using not to using, but we are uh, uh, working with this, but uh, not me. I only be involved in a case, but I don't. It's not a matter to, to disclose here. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. About this. Okay. okay, okay, understood. Oh, so you're working in a law, and they've looked at a case that we can't talk yeah, about. I, I, I have a case in a blockchain for an investment in blockchain payment of blockchain, but just this. Other colleagues are uh, working a lot in uh, such technology and. Uh, and financing. Okay, and can I ask you, are they, is it in criminal activity with blockchain or? I know there are, but uh, also we have experts on these. Models. Okay, so within the law firm you're looking at everything that's happening with the crypto market at the moment and some cases are criminal but other cases are positive. Uh, the more are positive. More are positive uh, than negative. Yes. Okay, good. That's Thank all. You. Thank you. Bye bye. Again, what's your name? Fabio, very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, my name is Robbie. What do you know about uh, blockchain? Um, I think in terms of the number of people that are engaged with it, not enough, not right. what it is about and like the technology behind it. Cool, okay. So Helicon is uh, a new company that's going to allow for in-game uh, trading through the blockchain. So if you've got a, a skin or something in games, you can trade that now through the blockchain and make real world value. And not just that, it's going to also be, you know, games played and earning potential as well. Okay. And how do you think uh, cryptocurrencies are going to affect the banks? Obviously, we're outside the banks here. How do you think that, that the decentralized world is going to okay. affect yeah. them here? I think, I think the first big impact that it has already had, right. uh, it's a push towards innovation. Okay. Banks have been sitting on whatever they've done in the last 20, 30 years and yeah. they're now realizing that they have to put the money in R&D, they have one of the lowest R&D investments in the last 30 years compared to other, across industries. Right. Uh, but at the same time it's a bit scary because you see these big institutions and they're now afraid yeah. that they might become the journal that has been replaced by, you know, the iPhone. Right, yeah. So, uh, anything could happen, to be honest.